Thank you very much, uh, John and Nick, for the introduction. Um, I'm an engineer, and I'm trying to sell a robot to you now, so I'm in marketing shoes right now. Um, first of all, I wanted to ask a question to the audience. Has anyone of you seen uh, our robot live in a hotel? Has anyone of you seen uh, social media footage like YouTube or postings of our robots? Yeah, or, okay, thank you. So the rest of, of you don't know the robot, that's good because I'm going to explain right now what it is. So we've heard a lot about uh, software products yesterday and uh, today and about using data. I'm going to explain how we're using actual physical product that <coughs> uses artificial intelligence to enhance the um, customer experience um, in hotels. Um, first, I want to introduce you to Saviok. Saviok is a venture founded company. We're based in uh, San Jose in California. And um, we founded the company with less than 10 people uh, four years ago in 2014. Um, all members were um, previously working at a robotic think tank uh, called Willow Garage. And uh, now we are over 50 people all around the globe with people in Singapore and Australia and uh, uh, Argentina. Um, and most of us are, are um, in California. And um, yeah, let me show you the robot. So what does a robot do? Uh, a robot is a delivery robot. So it's capable of navigating in indoor spaces and in human indoor spaces um, and avoid obstacles on the way and it has a, a capacity to carry some payload and it's very easy to work uh, with and has a very friendly user interface and uh, we use it in hotels to deliver items from the front desk to up to the rooms. And I'm going to show you a little video on how this looks like. Very simple process. The uh, hotel staff just loads the robot up with whatever the, the guest uh, desired, punches in the room number, or it was already pre predefined. The robot goes off on its own, uh, navigating autonomously without any remote operation, uh, takes the elevators. It has a wireless control. Um, method for the, for the elevators, so it can call the elevators. It navigates into the elevators, goes to the guest room, and uh, drives down the hallway and can avoid obstacles, like the housekeeping card you see here. And um, finally, when it reaches the room, it calls the room phone to tell that the delivery has arrived. And then the robot watches the door. And when it registers that the door opens, it can release the payload, and then there's some fun interaction, very simple interface. Um, then the robot can go back um, on its own and goes to the charging station and charges the end. So it's a very simple process, uh, both for the uh, hotel staff and for for the guests. Yeah, kids love the robot. <laughs> And it's a new experience for, um, for people. So it's, it's not just the delivery itself that makes the robot so important uh, for our clients and the, the end users. Uh, it's getting a thing to your room is, is not what, what makes you happy in a hotel, but getting it from a robot is a very different experience. And um, we, um, Victor talked about the, the human aspect of technology and it's very uh, important to um, yeah to to have a human um, experience with technology, not just like something that that you talk to. That's why actually the Amazon Alexa and Siri and so on they're so popular because you just talk to it. You do not type in stuff. You do not need to to put the, some query into a, a form. You can just talk to it. And so we designed our robot to be very human friendly, so it's very easy to inter interact with. For, for both the hotel staff to, to uh, place the delivery, as well as for people that have never seen a robot before, and they receive an item by a robot. So what, what do I need to do? Do I need to press a button or whatever? So the robot is, is very easy to use uh, for them. And it delivers more than just the items. It delivers the, uh, the delight for the guests, the new experience for the guests. 
and also helps um, the hotel staff to be more efficient so they don't waste time in running things, small things around. They can stay at the front desk and be available for the human, uh, uh, direct human connection that, that they need with the guests. Um, yeah, some details about the robot. So it's uh, uh, packed with sensors. Uh, from top to bottom, you can see it, it has a, a user interface, like a screen, a touch screen to, to interact with the robot. Uh, it can display some uh, motion with the eyes that you see on there, uh, some emotion, and it, it displays the intent. So f because we are in, in, in spaces where people are not used to robots, we need to ensure that the robot doesn't intimidate them, and so we need to make sure that uh, the people standing around the robot know what the robot is going to do. The robot doesn't speak, it makes some sounds, but it displays the intent always uh, on the display. It says, oh, I'm going to the elevator, I'm going to floor seven, I'm on the delivery. Um, and yeah, this is very, very important for, for, for the communication to, uh, to, to the people. Um, then we have a lot of sensors in the robot. Uh, safety is our highest priority for, for the operation of, the sen of, of that robot. This is, a, this is one of the first robots that work in human environments. So robots are, are used widely in industries, but they're always behind the doors of some, uh, yeah, some factory that, that produces stuff. Like, there's lots of robots in car industry and uh, logistics, but nobody sees them, and they're all machines, and they're made for special operators, but our robot is working in human space and human environment, so we need to make sure that all the unstructured uh, things that it can encounter do not um, make the operation more, diffi more difficult. So we pack it with sensors so it can sense the environment, at least uh, four or five sensors independent sensors are able to detect a person that's standing in front of the robot um, and so the robot can, can avoid the person. And um, when you look at the top right, you see the, the robot has, has a bin that can uh, have an insert or not, so you can place smaller or bigger items in there and it has an automated charging system that it can dock to and recharge when it's uh, not in use. Uh, the, the bin has about 20 liters of volume and can carry about four, four to five kilograms. So it's uh, perfect for sending small items like snacks or drinks, but also bigger items like uh, towels. Um, the users that send the robot and monitor the robot, um, they get a web interface so that they can see what the robot is going to do and they can uh, teleoperate the robot, send it on a mission, um, send it on a delivery and they can monitor the operation uh, so that they always know what's going on with the robot and they also have the ability to talk to us uh, through, through chat and um, get hints on what to do when the robot uh, has some, some failure. This is the engineering slide. <laughs> so there's more to the whole system than, than, just, uh, than just the robot because uh, the robot needs to talk to the elevators, needs to talk to the phone system, and sometimes we have automatic doors, so the robot needs to talk to those doors as well to be able to operate those. So what we do uh, when we install the robot is we, we install, well, we bring the robot itself, we bring the docking station, but we also bring a small computer that we hook up to the network of the, of the hotel and it connects to the phone system. We also have uh, developed uh, elevator control systems so we can hook up old elevators and modern elevators. We have developed el electronics to hook up uh, yeah, all kinds of uh, elevator systems and be able to control that. Um, yeah, this sounds uh, expensive, but it actually is not because we, we uh, develop this uh, as a service, so we, have, we provide this as um, the whole package as a service, all installation and maintenance and call center, um, 24 seven um, <coughs> remote monitoring is included in our service package. So the client has to uh, pay a monthly fee and uh, can use the road right away. Um, this 
gives us the, the um, advantage that we're very close connected with, with our clients. So we get a lot of direct feedback instead of just selling and then, okay, you're out the door, you're sold. I, I don't need to contact you anymore. So we, we, and we do the maintenance, so we are very um, cautious about using high quality components because we want the product to live for a long time and be uh, used for a long time. So what is the return on investment on, on this robot? So for us, um, the, the important thing that the robot brings is an enhanced guest experience. So we see a lot of um, social media impact of, uh, of the robot. So we see lots of um, uh, increases in mentions of uh, hotels or um, um, yeah, sites where the robot is. In, in social media, we see uh, positive feedback in reviews. So we've seen hotels getting a better review since they have uh, the robot, which in turn makes uh, the hotel able to charge more for, for their rooms because of this uh, extra uh, experience that, that the guests can have. We are um, not just theoretical, we are actually deploying robots. <laughs> So we have lots of roads all around the world already deployed and being used in hotels right now, 24 hour seven. We have uh, most of our robots in the US. So around the San Francisco Bay Area, there are a lot. Uh, we have robots in Los Angeles, in Las Vegas, in New York, in Miami, in Chicago. And internationally, we are also deploying robots to Japan, Singapore, um, and we have some in Belgium and in Dubai, I think. So we are growing right now, and I'd love to see a robot coming here to Mallorca as well. Um, now, to the end, I I'd like to, to show you um, what one of our clients said. I'll try to remember the details. So uh, this is an um, example uh, of uh, one deployment uh, in the Residence Inn at the Los Angeles airport. And Tom Beden, the uh, man general manager of that hotel, explains uh, how was the experience for him to um, add this robot to, as a team member to his staff. And um, at first, they were skeptical of if the robot would um, yeah, how, how people would react to the robot? No, 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 it's coming out. Here. It's a very sophisticated piece of machinery, and no, no. that was not it. <laughs> I mean, you can try. Yeah. I'm quite impressed about that. I still love watching it navigate through a crowd of people. The learning curve for learning how to use the robot was very, very quick. Okay, sorry for that. So he says it's, it was very easy to learn um, how to use the robot. So it, uh, within a couple of minutes of uh, training, everyone was able to, to go use down it. themselves to Starbucks or come down to the front desk and buy something from the market. But now that we have Wally, -E, people are calling down and asking for Wally -E to deliver Starbucks, which we're able to capture additional revenue from and charge a $2 delivery fee for. There's been a lot of conversation about how Relay Robot impacts RevPAR at the hotel. Looking at all of the data and the numbers, I'm confident that conservatively a half a percent boost in our RevPAR index can be attributed to the Relay Robot. And this measurement is beyond numbers. It's based on smiles and it's based on feedback and it's based on people checking in at my hotel and saying, is this the hotel with Wally the Robot? Wally has been a PR magnet for this hotel and really with very little effort because of his social media explosion, different media outlets have latched onto this and reached out to me for coverage. Oftentimes I'm asked, is Wally the Relay Robot going to replace people's jobs? And my response is absolutely not. What we've seen with Wally -E is higher guest satisfaction, very happy customers, which has resulted in repeat business and higher occupancy. Higher occupancy means we can hire more people. 
Wally's been such a success at our hotel and we've had such luck with Wally and he's been so reliable and dependable that our owner has opted to install a robot named Winnie at our sister property. Effectively, what it all boils down to is the Relay robot makes people happy. Happier customers makes it easier for my employees to do their jobs and it encourages repeat business and at the end of the day that's what we're all here to do. When Wally showed up it was like having you know a new team member show up for us. In my opinion the best things about having Wally in my hotel are how it helps my employees do their job and the delight that it brings to my customers. Wally's been with us for a year now and we feel confident that Wally's here to stay. We love having Wally as part of our operation and our team and it's going to be a great long-term relationship. Okay, so um, apart from hotels, you see hotels are very happy with the robot. So apart from hotels, um, we are exploring other markets as well for, for the robot because uh, it's basically transporting things in indoor spaces and there are lots of uh, places where this kind of um, task is needed and uh, two important ones are on the left, uh, hospital. So we are working with hospitals to find applications to, for example, transport medication from pharmacy to, to station or something like that. And on the right you see it's uh, like in repair centers. We have robots working for FedEx and the Re Tech Connect Repair Center in Memphis right now. So the, the robots, they take replacement parts uh, from the storage room to the technician uh, stations. And everywhere where people are uh, moving, are moving, our robot can be deployed. So to sum up, um, our robot is uh, yeah, new experience uh, for uh, for guests in the hotel. It's a uh, new technology that we optimize to be human friendly, and we are um, happy that the market responds uh, to to our product. And I would really look forward to see robots being deployed here uh, in Mallorca when Europe is one. Thank you very much.